this is Kelly here to give you a tip about how to decrease the amount of email in your email box many of you are getting warnings that you've uh, reached the limit of your space I'm going to show you how to move email onto your computer permanently so that you can free up that space on the server to receive more email watch this so first we're going to talk about archiving email that you currently have on the server. So you see there's uh, no delineation here, but I'm going to go into preferences for Outlook. So I go to Outlook preferences, I'm going to click on the general button and I'm going to uncheck hide on my computer folders. Now, as I close this, and I go and click on my inbox on that arrow, you'll see I have my server space. This is where email on the server resides. And I have an on my computer space. What I want to do is move emails from the server. And you'll see I have folders, a lot of different folders built here. One way that I can copy emails to that is I can just drag one of these folders here to the on my computer section. So I'll drag this vendor information folder and you'll see that it is copying those emails. Okay. Another thing I can do is in this on my computer folder, I can control click on that and I can create a new folder. So here's a new folder. I can name it whatever I want. I can do principal emails, or maybe I want to change that to school emails. And I new ha now have a new folder here, and I can copy any emails from my inbox to those folders, any folders that I create there. Okay, see that moved that email off of the server now and onto my computer. So you can put, copy all of your emails that you want to keep onto your computer, thus freeing up space on the server for your new email. A couple other ways to save space. You see here that you have a sent items folder. I go to the server space, which on mine is called Canyons District. See, I have about 187 sent items. If you never empty those sent items, they stay on the server. Now, if you want to copy them, I can select them all here and transfer them to... I can either delete them here, but let's say I want to keep them for whatever reason. I can copy them over to on my computer. So again, I'm going to select them all and just drag them onto my computer. And here they copy over. Once they copy over, I can now delete those sent items out of my out of the server side of the sent items folder. Now, I've got them sitting in my deleted items, so I want to get rid of them there as well. So again, I'm just going to control click now, and I'm going to tell Outlook to empty this folder. And now these things are permanently deleted off the server. You need to empty that deleted items folder quite often because if you let it go too long, it will start taking up quite a bit of space in your, email, in your allotted email space. For more tips and helpful hints and in integrating technology into your instruction and your classroom, please visit prolearning.canyonsdistrict.org.